from your cards into your two different groups. And you need to make sure that you tell me one characteristic that separates the two cards, the two sets. Okay? Only one basis is why you separate them. So here's your sheet. If you don't know what some of them are, this will tell you what it is. You only can have two groups. Two groups, that's all. Okay, only two groups. So there has to be one characteristic to separate the groups. Here you go, Nestor. His name is a skeleton, though. Vertebrates just means bones. Okay, here we go. So if you didn't quite finish, that's okay. Alexis, tell me why you have, what, how did you determine your two groups? Well, well. They're like, um, he's like basically plants and stuff, you know, like shells or whatever. Okay. And these are all like fishes or crabs. Okay, so you have plants and animals. Um, so one quick thing though, if you have a shell, is that a plant or an animal? Yeah. What'd you guys get right here? Uh, okay, plants and animals. Now they would do differently than plants and animals. Okay, what did you guys do? Okay, she did consumer and producer. Is that the same thing as plant and animal? It is the same thing. Okay. Okay, so I think what we saw mostly is plants and animals. Okay? If you did produce producer consumer, that's the same thing. All plants are producers, all animals are consumers. Now here's what you need to do now. You need to do the same thing again, two groups, but you need to pick a different characteristic. You may not do plants and animals. Okay. Now, someone give me, raise your hand, an example of a physical characteristic. Are you supposed to be Don't think too hard. Are you supposed to be the question? I don't know. Okay. What do you mean by, uh, give me a hand. No, raise your hand. Physical characteristic, Joe. Scale. Scale. Okay, what else? Arms, legs. Physical characteristic. Ears. Fins. Okay, anything that you can see, right, that would be physical characteristics. So that's how we can base our um, organisms. All right, so we're going to talk about taxonomy. Taxonomy is a study of how we classify living things. Because how, how are you going to remember how many names binomial is? By the word, the prefix by. Okay? How do you know that that's two? What other words do you know that start with by? Bicycle. How many wheels does a bicycle have? Two. Okay, so you're going to remember that binomial is literally means two names. Okay, so instead of many, many names, B, Dar, Drix, Nectar, we are just going to use two. Okay, this system was created by Carl Linnaeus. Sometimes we actually call it the Linnaean classification system because he came up with it. Two name naming system. We have a genus and we have a species. Everything has, every organism has two names. Do you know what it is for humans? Does anyone know? Our, our binomial nomenclature. You do know it. Homo sapiens. It is Homo sapiens. Okay? Good job. This is the genus species for the honeybee. Much simpler, right? Than saying all those uh, Latin words. Now we only have two. Apis mellifera. There are three rules in writing this. What's one of the rules that I have to follow always? Okay, capitalize the genus. What's next? Another rule. I have to italicize. Or if I'm writing on paper, okay? So I have to italicize or underline. What's the other third rule? Capitalize. This has to be lowercase. The species. Okay. So, capitalize genus, lowercase species, and then italics or underline. If I'm typing on a computer or not. Okay. So, for those of you who are on Nearpod, you have a quiz question. No. What the world? Okay. So, if you're not on Nearpod, just go ahead and look on someone else's. I'll finish. <coughs> 
you are going to get a daikon with seed, and you're going to practice using it. So, right here, I'm giving you a diagram of a whale, and you need to look at that diagram, and you need to like make sure you know where the dorsal fin is, where the tail fin is, and so just look at that diagram for a second. <laughs> no, you can't write on that. Okay. So do not write on the one that I gave you. In fact, at the top, do me a favor and just write in big letters. Do not write. So you'll remind yourself. So on the top of this where it says name, but do not write. Okay. Now the second one that you're getting, you are going to write on. That's yes, your own copy with your whales. <laughs> Okay, so here's what you need to do. On the one that you just wrote, do not write. I think I'm going to need to give you one more. You are going to follow the steps. So if we uh, read the background, what you're going to do is your job is to, on the back of your whale, so look at the back of your whale. Everyone look at the back of your whale. Okay, take your whale and turn it over. Come on, turn it over. You have a chart there at the bottom that says citation number one through eight. Your job is to start their name. Okay, using the dichotomous key. So starting with whale number one, read your two choices and see if you can correctly identify those eight whales. So start with number one. Well, yeah, I mean, stay in your seat, but if you need to use the people around you. So let's do, do we need to just press them together? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, so here's bell number one. Looking at your dichotomous key, does it have teeth or baleen? Baleen. Okay, so what do I go to? Three. Um, does it have rough, bumpy areas present on the head? Yes. Or no rough, bumpy areas? Uh, has rough, so where do I go? Six. Six. Does it have long, white flippers that are a third of the body length, or short flippers less than a third of the body length? Not that way. A short. So what kind of whale is that? Right whale. A right whale. So you're going to write that on the back of your whale as number one.